Did my food habits change? Yeah. Food. <laughs> food. Oh my God, McDonald's is my life. I love cereal. Cereal was cool. The French baguette. Uh, no, 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 no. This is not an actual baguette. This is shitty bread. I, I didn't know what a pig was. And I get really bitchy about cheese. You know, I eat a lot more pizza than I used to. I don't like that. <laughs> Before, uh, you know, I was uh, taking off uh, to the airport, my dad uh, came and told me, son, you are a Muslim and you are not supposed to eat pork, sausage or ham. I said, okay. The taxi, the cab driver, he was very nice and he asked me, uh, do you know what you're going to eat tonight? I said, no. I think he took me to a McDonald's. I look at the menu. First thing was a hamburger. I, oh, I cannot have hamburger. Dad told me I cannot have ham. But next item on, on the list was a cheeseburger. I said, yeah, I can have cheeseburger. So I took cheeseburger. From what I remember, I just loved McDonald's. So I think that was the first thing I ate when I got out here, a cheeseburger. It's good. <laughs> as soon as you land in this country, you generally, most people end up at, at a friend's house or uh, start living at cousin's place or something. So food is taken care of. The day that support stopped, the first question is, what am I gonna eat? I didn't have any pots or pans or nothing. So I bought a bread. For the first two, three days, I think I just lived off of the bread. I didn't know how to cook at all when I first moved to the US. So I was relying on frozen meals and snacks, and it was not good. You feel you know how to cook, but you don't realize that, um, you know, when you're in your house, everything is set for you, right? So you know where the spices are, you know where all my food is. You just kind of assemble everything and everything is ready. When you have to start this in the U.S., um, that's, that's where the first question is, where is all the stuff? It's super confusing. They don't even use the, like, grams and millimeters. It's all, like, in cups and, like, spoon. And I was just, like, everything was super confusing. I was so used to going to friends' houses, and the maids or the parents would make food and, like, a five-course meal with rice and salad and the meats. Um, and then when I moved here, it was like, okay, pizza or... White Castle burgers. I think I bought into the typical American diet uh, with the hamburgers and the this and the that and the other and the fries. Uh, I kind of just slipped into that. The specialty of Cincinnati is Skyline Chili. It's like a hot dog with a weird sauce and like meat in it. It's like their thing. Watching American TV, I mean, it was just what people, you know, what people ate and, 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 and I ate it. A lot of fries. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, yeah, the food's fried, everything's fried. Fish is really nice grilled. I don't know why you deep fried it twice. At some point, I was having so many tacos, I was just like, I'm so done. <laughs> I can't wait when I moved here, and I think, I think I knew that would probably happen, but I don't think I realized how many more tacos I was gonna eat, and how much more fast food was going to be around me, and how much bigger the portions were. The size of the portions. My goodness. Um, <laughs> and that is, it's, it's amazing how fast you get used to it. Uh, the servings are probably twice the size of what we're used to, which is fine, because I'm a growing boy, so I'll, I'll eat twice the food. I remember going back to Brazil and, and just being outraged at the size of my medium ice cream, uh, because that would be like a kid-sized cup in the US. <laughs> Uh, I think it was sophomore year when I realized that I was eating a lot more meat than I usually do because, like, in our culture, you don't really eat a lot of meat. We subsidize more fruit and vegetables, and the U.S. subsidizes more meat and grain, and so you end up with cheaper meat and grain, and so it's just used more commonly here versus where I'm from, we just have more fruit and vegetables. A huge thing with my family is like, but do you eat tortillas? And we couldn't find any tortillas here. And so the day we found a good place that sold tortillas, we're like, okay, we're safe. <laughs> like, we can live here now. We've got coffee, we've got tortillas, we found some beans that are okay. And so, um, 
What was the question? <laughs>